Okay, here I am on the ERGDB website, and we've got over 3,000 Zwift workouts that you can download. So when you want to try something new and challenging, you can come here and find something to download. Anyway, this is instructions on how to do that. If you scroll down a little bit, I see uh, the latest workouts. We've also got filters and search and, and similar workouts. There's a lot of different ways to find workouts here. But let's just say I want this one and I want to load this one into Zwift. I just come to this ZWO file. I click on download. It, it downloads there. I go to my downloads folder, which I've got open here, and I can see that it downloaded there. And then you just have to copy that into your Zwift folder. You know, I'm showing you on a Mac, but basically a PC is an identical process that, that the um, way you do this is just that the folder is just in a slightly different location, which I'll share on this blog post. But I've created a shortcut here, so I'm going to hit Control C on that, on this file. I'm going to go to the Zwift, into the Workouts folder. This is my user ID. I'm the only user using this, so I can click on that and I hit paste. Now I've got a ZWO folder or file in here. And if I open up Zwift, it will be available in my workout. So I'll go ahead and open Zwift now. This, this happens to be on my home computer, my desktop. This is not the computer that I ride with Zwift on or, or the iOS device. You can also do iOS device. But once you load it in Zwift here, it will actually synchronize across all your different iOS devices, iOS and or other computers. So you could do this at work. You can do this in your office. You know, you can do it wherever you want. Um, and then it will synchronize to your, your other computer. So I'll go ahead and open Zwift here. Um, and I'll hit let's go. It actually takes a while for Zwift to load. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause, pause this video right now and we'll come back when Zwift loads. Okay, here we are and we're back to Zwift. Um, I don't, you can see I don't have any bike connected to it. So I'll go ahead and just click just watch. Okay, here we are. We're watching now. If I click back to me here, it gives me the menu. I go to the menu. Now I can click on workouts. And there you can see in, inside of my custom workouts folder, you can actually see this, this workout. And that's the same workout that I, I had showed you on the website. Um, you can, we could actually show that just so that we can see that it's basically the same or that it is the same. There's that workout, my uh, the, the ERGDB view of it. And here is the the Zwift view of the same workout. And, you know, it would be more efficient if you downloaded multiple ZWO files and then did this all at one time. But anyway, but now that it's here, um, I'm not sure if I have to close Zwift first, but in general, now it's going to sync across all of my different devices. And that's it.